Hey everyone, this is Ross and I'm at the 15 gallon. It isn't looking too bad, but uh, there's been a bit of algae growth. Um, so, today I'm going to be cleaning the tank. The plants are still looking quite nice. That water sprite seems to have grown already. It looks quite nice there. It's, it just looks more jungle like. Uh, the java fern's looking really good. You can just see the shrimps on it there. They like the greys on that. Um, on the anubias there's been some new growth. That leaf is brand new and it's grown in it in the last week. That was just amazing, the speed of that growth. Uh, some really good news. The cardinal tetras seem to have completely healed up from the ick. And there's no visible signs of ick on them at the minute. They're not flicking or rubbing and there isn't any uh, salt sized grains on them which is really good. Um, it doesn't mean it's completely out of the system though, it might still be in them. So I'm going to still dose this ick treatment for another week or so. And hopefully it should be entirely out of the system. They're still a little shy, they've got to get trained uh, when feeding time's on and things. So today I'm basically going to take the tank down about there maybe it's a nice big water change to get some tannins out of the water um, gonna really sift through this gravel cause I've been training them um, at certain feeding times to get the food and a lot of it just fell down the bottom I've tried my best to net, net the maximum out but you can't get it all out so I'm gonna siphon that out first thing I'm gonna do is uh, clean all the algae off of Ludwig here bit off the Anubius and I'll clean the glass and then I'll take the water down and fill it back up so yeah today just gonna be cleaning the 15 right, gallons. So I've siphoned some of the water out uh, it's probably a 20% water change so it's just regular um, I've cleaned all of the algae off the of Ludwig here yeah? all of the algae off the of glass I've siphoned all the leftover food off the of gravel so it's looking a bit better now and if you look in here um, the colour of the water is actually like a tea, a tea colour, like a brown. And that m might look like it's really bad, like lots of poo, but it's actually not. It's actually tannins off the soil. So, uh, yeah, for the first few weeks you're going to be getting this if you use dirt. But that's, uh, it's natural. And if you've got something like tetras like me, they actually like this colour water. Because it's, it's actually called black water, like out the Amazon. So they'll actually benefit from this type of water. Right, so I've topped the tank back up there now. All the plants are completely clean. It's looking very nice. Gravel's clean, everything's perfect. But what I noticed when I was stirring up the water was some dirt was coming up between the gravel. And that's because I didn't do a thick enough gravel bed. So what I've got here is just some more gravel off earlier today. You'll, you'll have seen it in my video, um, Outdoor Fish Tank. Um, and I'm going to use this to cap to cap it. So I'm going to add a bit more of this in that tank. So I'm just going to go wash right. it. Right, so it's all clean there now. I've cleaned the sides, I've cleaned the filter, cleaned the gravel, cleaned the plants. And I've added a bit more gravel just to keep the dirt down a bit better. Um, so yeah, it's looking really nice. I've ordered some Dwarf Sagittarius just far along the bottom as a carpeting plant. Um, I might be getting some star grass next week. Um, so yeah, it'll be looking really nice this time next week. So I've ordered quite a bit of dwarf sag. I've heard it's a really easy grower, unlike that dwarf baby it has. Um, that was really bad with me. I'm just not good with uh, harder care for plants. So yeah, this is gonna be covered with uh, dwarf sag. So that'll look really nice. I might get some star grass. I might get some jungle valfar up the sides. Um, so yeah. Uh, please check out We Are All Wet and Dustin's Fish Tanks if you haven't already done so. Because they're two great channels. Um, so yeah. I'm loving all the comments. Uh, please rate my videos and subscribe. Bye.